Hello and welcome back to AP Tech Tutorial. And in this short video, I will show you how to recreate your Outlook profile. I'm referring to the Outlook client, which is the application that you install, the little application that you install when you Office, uh, when you install Office 365 or Outlook uh, for desktop. Okay, that's basically what you do. There's two conditions that needs to be uh, met here. One is you need to have a copy of your Outlook account. Uh, of your email online. And if you don't, you will need to do a backup of the current uh, uh, profile that you have in this computer. Please make sure that you do that. This tutorial is, is just to illustrate how you can recreate the profile of which you have a copy online. As you can see, um, after, when I open the Outlook, uh, at the client, the little application, you can see that I have a few emails here listed here. And um, I will show you that the online account has exactly the same copy of my uh, inbox. All right. So all the folders and the inbox, they're all sitting in the uh, outlook.life.com. Uh, okay. And outlook.com actually. Um, so uh, I have a copy of that. So I'm, that's one thing you need to make sure have a copy online before you go ahead with these uh, 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 steps. Step number one, close Outlook completely. Do not leave anything open, okay? So um, do not leave any application open. Close all your applications and navigate to start and type on control panel. And right here, select control panel and navigate to the search bar here and type uh, uh, mail and wait for something to come up and you will see uh, Microsoft Outlook 32-bit. Click on it and you will see my, uh, I'm just gonna ask him to show my profile, right? And I'm just going to remove it, okay? Say yes and just remove it, all right? Yeah, um, apply and click okay. And I can click on it on it again and, um, and uh, to make sure the profile is gone. So it's, it's there gone. That's step number one. Let's then jump into step number two. For step number two, click on the window at Sprotal, this little uh, file here uh, icon, and then navigate to uh, your C drive. And this one thing that you need to make sure, uh, navigate to user. And once you're here, uh, you need to make sure you're going to the uh, to the correct user. But before you go there, make sure that uh, you click on the view uh, window and uh, when you click here, uh, make sure you have the hidden file, hidden items selected. Make sure you do that because otherwise you're not going to see the file that I'm going to show you, okay? So I'm just going to click on view, click on hide, I'm sorry, on the um, on uh, hidden items to show them, to select them, and then go to user. Now, you need to find out here what user, uh, it's the one logged in, so my user. So in order for you to know that, uh, there's various ways to do it, but the easiest one is click on start and click on this little icon. This is Windows 10. Uh, and then you see it's local admin. That's my user, right? So local admin, I click on local admin. And as you can see, this is the app application data here. Uh, if look what happens if I unselect it, I will not see it. So that's why it's important that you select this show hidden file. Uh, so you can uh, you can see uh, these folders, right? So local, you hit on local and then uh, click on Microsoft and then look for Outlook. And then uh, this is my Outlook profile. This is a copy of my Outlook. All you need to do is click select, uh, hit control A, select all, or you simply just select do like this uh, with your mouse, select them all and remove them, all right? I will now proceed to step number three. To complete step number three, it's like if you started Outlook for the first time. Uh, so this is what's gonna happen. You click on the Outlook and it's gonna prompt me for the name of the profile. The name you can give it is irrelevant. You can do whatever you name, name you want. I'm just gonna name it Outlook, okay? Or Outlook one, just if in case I, I add another account later on, all right? So click okay. And then it's gonna prompt me which email uh, do you want to add here? And I'm gonna tell them uh, just uh, the AP Take tutorial, right? account, uh, it may or may not uh, prompt you for the um, for the uh, password. In my case, because the password is already cached here somewhere, it did not ask me for it because I had this account there before. All you need to do is click uh, uh, done 
I don't want to set up a, a mobile or phone and I don't want to add another account, which is just this step here. And then I'm going to click on done and that's it. What's going to happen now is that I'll look, it's going to start downloading a copy of my, I'll, you'll see all my emails are just coming down, right? So it's integrating. Now, if we go back to look account, it's being synchronized. It will take a little, a little while. It depends uh, on how, um, how large your, uh, um, your inbox, I mean, your, your mailbox is, uh, but you will see something like this uh, at the bottom here, connected to Microsoft Exchange, meaning that it's downloading a copy right now and the folders are being up to date, right? Uh, all folders are up to date, so it means that uh, most of my uh, folders are already down. This is a small account, this is, uh, it's not large, so it will create these uh, quickly. So, And then if you navigate to the folders that we uh, uh, visited before to, to remove, um, micro uh, outlook you'll see here that it's it will start creating the uh, uh the outlook it probably has it completed by now because my account is is not my mailbox is not that large so you click on onedrive sorry that's not it you need to click on um outlook and you can see there it's building a copy it's only 16 megabytes uh uh so if yours are large, it will take a lot longer. But And finally, uh, it's important that we revert back uh, those uh, changes that we actually uh, did before. Make sure that uh, you unselect the view uh, hidden file, hidden items. Just uh, remove them, uh, as you can see, and make sure that you do not see, uh, make sure that you do not see the application file here anymore. Okay, app data uh, there anymore. Uh, the reason it's recommended doing that is because you do not accidentally uh, delete a file from your computer. Well, that's the end of the uh, of the video, of the uh, tutorial. And if you like it, please uh, uh, hit on like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have yourself a great day.